Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reader from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and it's another grocery discovery. So if you want to protect your brain and no longer have mental fog, if you want to protect your heart and not have any heart palpitations, if you want to protect your muscles so that your toes don't cramp, your feet don't cramp, your calves don't cramp, plus if you want your nerves to be working well for you and you want no kidney stones, you need to pay attention to what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to go inside this grocery store and I'm going to share with you what foods are going to give you the amount of this mineral that is so essential to your health for your brain, your heart, your nerves, your kidneys, and your muscles. So if those five areas of your body are important to you, then you need to pay attention to this video. And I can guarantee you almost 90% of you do not get enough of this essential mineral. Now before we go inside, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, the bell, you name it. Find us on Rumble, YouTube, and Facebook where we can continue teaching you God's recipe for excellent health. And always remember that first ingredient, that first ingredient is that God loves you. He's loved you from the moment of conception and I love you too. So let's get shopping. Well today we're going to be looking at all of these foods that have a delicious amount of potassium. But first of all, I just want to review with you why you need potassium. Potassium is one of three minerals, calcium, magnesium, and potassium that are so essential for your well-being. Without these three essential minerals, you will not be alive today and you will not feel healthy. So let's look at some of the reasons why we need potassium. Potassium number one is it helps prevent kidney stones. It helps prevent muscle cramps, the toe cramps, the foot cramps, the, the calf cramping. All of that, we need more potassium. Most of the time you'll hear me talk about calcium and magnesium, but it's a threesome. You have to have all three. So not only the calcium and magnesium, we also need the potassium as well. It also helps regulate healthy blood pressure. This is essential for so many people who are dealing with high blood pressure. Mental clarity, without a good amount of potassium in your diet, you're gonna have mental fog. You could be stopping in the middle of a sentence and wonder, what was I supposed to say? And that's mental fog. So this is going to help with mental clarity. It's gonna also help with a good heartbeat, a good steady rhythm and it protects your nerves. So if any one of these are reasons that you're thinking, oh wow, I really need that, I need potassium in my diet, then let's go ahead and look at what foods are gonna give us the highest amount of potassium so that we can have a healthy life. So let's start with the highest amount of potassium and that's gonna be almonds. Almonds can give us 900 milligrams in just a four ounce serving. It's one of the top foods. Other nuts that would be included would be cashews right over there behind the beet greens and cashews drop down to 400. So almonds is our highest quality nut that's gonna give us the greatest potassium. After that, you're gonna notice that the next food that gives us the highest amount of potassium is gonna be our dried dates and our dried raisins. So you can kind of see them there. Those two foods give us a super high amount and that's in the 800 milligrams per four ounce serving. Now what you may think is like, oh no, I thought it was bananas was the highest. No, bananas are way over there. They give you very little, about 300 milligrams. So we're looking at almonds, dates, and raisins as being the highest contributor of potassium in your diet. So sprinkling some of these on your salad, adding some dates into your, your cooking is going to give you good healthy potassium. The next food on our list is avocados. Yeah, they give you 600 milligrams per one half of an avocado. So if you're going to have some guacamole at your next party or your next dip, then you're going to get some great potassium. So this is another highly rated food for potassium. Now we come to one of my favorites, which is beet greens. The beets will give you an amount of potassium, but the greens, if you just saute these in a little bit of olive oil, top it off with some feta cheese, you have a delicious, delicious meal. You could add in some mushrooms, saute those as well. Oh, that would be so delicious. I just can't wait for dinner tonight to enjoy these. So the beet greens actually also give you 600 milligrams of potassium in a serving. So that's an incredible amount of potassium. 
now let's move down to the lentils lentils here so i've got some split green peas and i've got some just some regular lentils there those are going to give you a very healthy dose so if you were to make some lentil soup with these you would get about 400 milligrams in a serving of these soups i have a delicious lentil salad recipe in my healthy treasures cookbook i just love that that is a complete meal in itself oh it's so good i wish i could make it right now Okay, so moving on from lentils, I've already talked about the cashews. So cashews are gonna drop down to the 400 milligrams per serving per four ounces. That also puts us in the category of salmon. So instead of buying fresh salmon to share with you today, I went ahead and grabbed a can of salmon. And salmon right now is just highly, um, it's very high priced because of a lack of supply. So the canned salmon is a very good supply. Once again, it's in the 400 milligrams of potassium per serving. Now the next food, we're gonna jump to potatoes. Now, when you eat french fries, you're gonna get very little potassium, but yet when you eat potatoes with the skin on, you're gonna get a very healthy dose of potassium. Also with that would be your sweet potatoes. Once again, clean these really well, buy organic when you can, or grow them yourself and just get a delight of digging them out of the ground. I love growing potatoes and it's almost time to start planting. And so growing them yourself, you know they're gonna be organic, you know they're gonna be a, just a healthy dose of potassium, but it always must include the skin. Same is true of some of your fruits, like your apples and blueberries. It's the skin that helps you with that. So your potatoes are another healthy dose, but not french fries. I'm talking about regular potatoes. Even if you boil these or cook them in a little bit of butter, you're gonna have a healthy supply of potassium which you're not gonna get in french fries. So then that takes us over here. So carrots actually have 300 milligrams of potassium you know, in a regular serving, and bananas have the same. Yet when people have high potassium, usually the doctor says stop eating so many bananas. Well, yet when you look at this table, well, what about the almonds or the dried fruit or the beet greens? I know all of you are eating beet greens at least two or three times a week. Uh, the lentils, the cashew nuts, the salmon, the, the potatoes, and yet we always blame the banana. The poor banana always gets the blame for potassium. It does have a healthy supply. It's about 350 milligrams per banana and so yes it does have a lot but a cantaloupe just eating one-fourth of a cantaloupe is going to give you 250 milligrams and sometimes doctors forget to recognize the other foods that have potassium an orange can have 225 milligrams of potassium and so then that moves us over to spinach just one cup of spinach is going to give us 250 milligrams of potassium you could also look at the cucumbers and hopefully you grow some of these yourself in your own garden and that would give you 160 milligrams now that takes us back to the beets and the beets themselves just the the fruit of the vegetable there is only going to give us 150 per half cup serving so it's the greens where all of the potassium is now this is not a complete list of all of the foods that have potassium this is just to give you an idea when we eat the foods that God designed for us in the healthiest form which it means is close to the way he designed it we are going to get healthy servings of potassium now as I just shared with you potassium is so important for brain to prevent brain fog to help your heart have a steady rhythm of palpitations to help your nerves to have good conduction to help your muscles to contract and relax we get a spasm because they contract but they never relax and that's where we get the spasm it also helps to regulate the electrolytes in your kidneys which helps you prevent from kidney stones and so all of these foods are just an example there are other foods that I could have added and I could have filled this entire table but I wanted to give you an example of what foods contribute to high potassium now I want to introduce you real quickly because many people are told by their doctor to not have potassium foods because they have what's known as hyperkalemia, which is high potassium. High potassium is not caused by eating bananas. It's actually caused by diabetes, 
dehydration, medication such as your NSAID, your ACE inhibitors, things like that, and also a kidney disease. So if you're told, hey, your potassium is too high, stop eating bananas, <laughs> you need to say, well, wait a minute, doctor, almonds and dried fruit and you know lentils, they have more potassium than bananas. And your doctor's gonna say, well, I didn't know that. And you're gonna say, well, that's because I listen to the biblical nutritionist. She teaches me these things so I can be smart about my health. So what you wanna do is when you have high potassium and your doctor says, stop eating bananas, high potassium is very dangerous. That is a serious concern. Yet we need to understand what contributes to high potassium is we could be pre-diabetic, we're eating too many processed foods, we're eating, we're eating too much high sugar foods, we're not getting enough fiber in our diet, which is leading to diabetes or pre-diabetes. Or we're dehydrated when the blood work was done. When you are dehydrated, the potassium spills out in your blood work and it's because you don't have enough fluids to balance the potassium. And also your medications are blocking the potassium from working and kidney disease as well. So this is what you should address when your doctor says, hey, you have high potassium, which is called hyperkalemia. You need to say, hey doctor, we need to look into these topics versus just eliminating the banana. And so I hope this has been very helpful to you in understanding these are the foods that are gonna give you potassium at every age person from an infant to a senior adult. And I have no idea what the ages of a senior adult is anymore because people can live a very long, healthy life up to 120. And that's not my goal, but some people do. My goal is to live a good life, a healthy life for only as long as God designed. It's not about how many years I live, it's about how well I live those years. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below. Thank you for letting me share this with you today. I wanna to know in the comments down below, how much potassium are you getting in a normal day? Because I want you to start eating not just three fruits and vegetables a day, but I want you to start adding in more, up to five to seven fruits and vegetables every day. You're gonna get a, such a healthy dose of potassium and your heart's gonna be stronger, your muscles are gonna work better for you, your exercise program will work better. So many things will be so much smoother, simpler, and easier that you're gonna say, wow, I I wish I'd have known about potassium earlier on. So I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, here to serve you through these grocery discoveries, God's recipe for excellent health. And it includes keeping your heart strong because your heart is where your passion is. It's where your love begins. And I want you to always remember that God loves you. He's loved you with an everlasting love. That means it never ends. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I love you too, which is why I'm sharing these videos with you. So before you leave, be sure and put the comments down below, hey, what did you learn about potassium today? And how can you help some people that are saying, hey, my doctor says no more bananas. You need to help them as well, understanding what potassium does in the body. It regulates the blood flow. It helps with lowering blood pressure. But when it's too high, you need to address the medications that a person is on versus saying don't eat bananas. So there's other ways of addressing the health. And sometimes your doctor didn't study nutrition. So, hey, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, here to serve you God's recipe for excellent health. Thanks for watching.